Hello and welcome to the lecture on example 2 on files. So if you go to example 2 folder, the example is about copy, rename and delete a file. So let's look at this operations. So the logical flow is how to work with the file operations and we'll part of it will create this file. And I'll be storing under files. Okay, so before you do a file operation, let's understand if you do a file operation on copy, rename or delete, the first thing, what do you think you want to check? What do you want to check before you apply a copy, rename or delete? Well, that's correct. You have to check whether the file exists or not. Okay, that's your first activity. So you'll check whether the file exists. And after that, you try to issue any commands like copy, rename or delete. So let's define the file name. So let's do an exercise. So let's say the file name is a folder. Okay, let's do with that wrong assumption. Let's not a file name, it's a folder. Then how do you handle that situation? All right, first let's say whether the file exists or not. Exist doesn't care file or a folder. All right, that's the first thing you should note. And it's able to true to say if folder exists or file exists okay so we'll do a condition to say file exist that's the first condition and you can write the else block and echo file or directory does not exist and then there's a command to say die die is to close the program and you say no such files okay you cannot do any operation let's run this and understand what if a file is a directory name okay let's understand that then we'll do our exercise okay file or directory does not exist no such files okay so let's create a directory okay and then we'll understand from there So here the file is in the www files. So let's create a directory here called it my folder. Okay. Then it's actually going in the if loop and it's able to find that directory. Okay. Let's say that my folder is a file. Okay. Okay. Again, this case, it's able to find that file. Okay. Given it be a folder or a file, the file exists will check whether it exists or not. So you have to be very careful when you use file exist. It says file exists, but it could be file. It could be folder as well. Okay. So now you can say echo file exists. You're able to find that. And then you have to check check if it is a directory okay so now you can say if it is a directory then you don't want to execute the program right and what is that you want to check is the file name right and then you will say echo or you can just simply exit out of the program by die and you can pass the text in it so it is say it is a directory not file okay let's look into this example so we have to create a directory first so i hope it's my folder yeah so file exist yes file exist but it is a directory not a file so you cannot actually do copy rename and all those things on a directory right you have to do on a file so if it's a directory you just come out of the program okay if it is not a directory then you continue copying the files so let's copy file okay so the command we saw previously is to copy okay and we'll say dollar file name to copy file.txt okay you can actually copy the 
new file name that you created with an another file name because it is instant right it's created and the next command you can issue to copy the same new created file name with another file name so we can loop it as well okay so let create that file we delete this folder we create that file okay i'll call it .txt we place some text in it we take this file name and we'll attach it to our .txt okay now yes we want to create two files okay so let's check whether we are able to create the files or not okay so two files has been created copy file is copied to copy one file and if you open up they have the same text okay so copy will copy the files to rename you have a command to rename okay you can just change it to rename and you want to cop change the copy file one file to renamed file okay and if you see this example so let's delete our files okay so you have the renamed file the copy file one was created and renamed okay it was created then it was renamed that's why you see the renamed file now okay and if you want to copy over you can create a copy of that renamed file we'll say the renamed file and to copy over to deleted file okay so what will happen is this file gets created rename file deleted and we'll try to delete it before that we'll check whether the file is created or not okay so this file is created and with the program we will delete this file like this okay so let's go ahead and do that so for that how to delete the file you can do it via unlink and then you have to just pass the file okay so let's uncomment this first So this file get created but when you unlink it run it that file never gets created that file is created and deleted because you have unlinked that file okay you've deleted that file okay so let's do a quick recap of what we have learned here file exist we'll check whether the file or the folder exist is directory will check whether that file is a directory or not copy command is to copy files from one location to other one file name to another rename is to rename files unlink is to delete files and die is a command that we learn to exit out of the program with some text printed onto the console okay so that's all in the lecture on file operations and i'll see you in the next one